Some fairy tales are about maids who get turned into princesses. This is not one of those fairy tales. You see, I didn't need a fairy godmother to turn me into a princess. I was born one. So, do I look like 25 million bucks? The tiara is a bit much. I should probably start by telling you about my father. He's kind of a big deal, which makes it pretty hard to get his attention. That's the third cover in two months, Lexi. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. I'm delaying the distribution of your trust fund. What? Until you can prove to me that you've earned it. And just like that, my fairy tale was over. <sighs> I've selected 52 occupations for you to undertake over the course of the next year. You want me to do 52 different jobs? One for every week of the year. It's amazing what a girl will do for $25 million. Give me a reason, I'll show you. not even the worst part. I didn't even tell you about Luke, the annoying intern my father hired to keep tabs on me. You hired me a babysitter? I prefer to think of myself as a liaison. Lexi, come on, open the door. No! You're acting like a child. I don't think you appreciate how fortunate you are to have been born into your family. And I don't think you appreciate what being born in my family really means. All you ever do is think. Don't you ever let loose do something without thinking? Like what? Larrabee family you think you know is an illusion, a publicity stunt. I barely even know my father. Sometimes it feels like the whole world is waiting for my next screw up. So why not just prove them wrong? Being America's favorite heiress is a dirty job. You belong with me. But I guess someone's gotta do it.